What's going on guys, Zeddy of Fliptronics. I'm gonna be showing you how to use Widget Smith on iOS 14 or any iPhone you're currently using. Before we get into this, I want to let everyone know I still have this free iPhone sweepstakes going on with you sweeps. Now, we partnered up with these guys for the last couple of years. It's just a quick email submit if you want to enter into it. So I'll have a link in both the description and comments if you want to check it out. All right, so I've got both the iPhone XR and iPhone SE 2 that we're going to add Widget Smith to. Now, along with this app, I really like Color Widgets is another cool widget app I'd recommend checking out. Now, Widget Smith takes probably like 10 seconds to install. It's completely free. There are some paid options within it, but I'm not really going to touch on that because you don't really need to use those. Now, once you have it installed, uh, you obviously want to open it up. And, uh, you know, we'll take a look at the 10R first. I'll start on my left and then we'll add it on the SE2. Now you're going to see that there's three different widget options. You've got small, medium, and large. I'm just going to go with the medium option right here. And what you want to do is add an option. So once you do that, uh, you know, you want to click on this and then you're going to see some different customization features, you know, for the widgets within here. So, you know, let's, uh, you know, choose, I guess that one, then you can change the font. You can also change like the backgrounds and stuff. So All right, let's go with that. Red looks pretty fresh. All right, I think we'll just leave that background. And then you can have like a border go over it. I think the blue look kind of cool. Okay, so once you've done that, you know, you've basically added, you know, a custom widget within Widget Smith. So we just need to add that widget. All right, so you want to click on the medium one because that's the one you use, and then you could see that it just you know popped up there for me. Okay, so the thing here is um, you can actually switch between different designs that you create. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. So that was the second option within the medium options, but if you go on the settings here, you're going to see that option right there. This is where you can switch between you know if you want to use the custom one that they have on there, or you can kind of like create your own. So it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's pretty customizable, and there's like a bunch of different options in there. So we're gonna do the same thing over here on the SE2. We'll do the uh, the medium one again here. Throw up some different uh, fonts and backgrounds and whatnot. All right, that one looks pretty cool. All right, we'll go with the green. All right, then we're gonna save it, head back to the home screen. I would just need to add it. All right, pretty cool, right? Okay, so um, Widget Smith, uh, you can add a lot of different, uh, you know, themes in there if you want to. It's pretty easy to switch between them. Like I said, there are some paid options in here, but I wouldn't really bother with those. Then the other thing too, uh, if you like Widget Smith, I do recommend checking out Color Widgets. Uh, I think that's another, uh, you know, cool widget app for, you know, customizing your home screen a little bit. Um, and uh, that's it, guys. So uh, if you could smash the like button, I do want to end things here with a quick COD mobile match. Got to get one in. You know what I'm saying? So um, if you guys could uh, smash a like button and uh, let's get into some of this gameplay.